uh yeah there's one more there's one more uh on this card that I've been looking at, and it's our man Vicente Luque is back against Michael Chiesa, and uh, I kind of don't like the line where it is right now, but I feel like uh, I, where I, is it now? Luque is a minus one seventy favorite against Michael Chiesa, um, minus one seventy two, and Chiesa is plus one twenty five. Uh, Luque is thirteen and three in the UFC. And Chiesa is 11 and four in the UFC. Uh, 12 of Luque's 13 wins are by stoppage, and six of Chiesa's 11 wins are by stoppage. This is one where I, uh, I, I think there's going to be some value on uh, fight goes the distance. No, because I feel like the market's going to expect this one to go the distance. So I'll probably be on an under or if I go the distance, no. And I like Vicente Luque here. Uh, it just, it really depends on, on how Chiesa fights this fight, but Vicente Luque, man, he's, he seems to be getting better every single time that we see him. Uh, we know that he's, is one of his main trading partners is Gilbert Burns. Uh, who's, you know, quite a good wrestler. Uh, I, he's going to obviously be in the gym training for a, a guy like Kiesa who's pretty wrestle heavy. Uh, I, I I don't know if – I think that the hitting power of Luque is going to be the difference in this fight. And uh, I don't like minus 170, though. I, I feel like I feel like the, the path to victory for Kiesa is to probably, you know, get a 15-minute a, a decision – but Luque inside the distance is live. I just hope that it would be at a, a at a decent price. What do you think about this matchup? I mean, first and foremost, Al, I can't get a Michael Chiesa fight right, okay? Straight up, this dude, I swear, I, I mean, I got a thing with this guy going back years, okay? I get confident in him. I bet him this this. Uh, Caddy from Happy Gilmore looking mofo goes out there and loses, right? Then moves up a division, goes on this run. The guy's grappling and wrestling right now just looks top notch. And it really throws me for a loop. It's one of those fights that I I really, it, it's just how good of a read can I get on Vicente Luque's takedown defense and ability to get up off the mat if he's taken down there. It's scary to me, Al. It's scary to me. I, I mean, I'm going to go as far as to say I think the value is probably on Chiesa where that line sits right now. Uh, it's it's a plain and simple. Michael Chiesa's stand-up is trash, okay? This dude can't strike worth a damn, okay? Vicente Luque, a real good striker. Um, it, it just comes down to is Chiesa going to be able to get his game off? If I go watch the tape, and I'm seeing some tremendous takedown defense. Uh, good get-up game from Vicente Luque. He's doing all the right things, making all the right moves. Um, I don't know. But at the same time, Vicente Luque is not out here. You know, we haven't seen him deal with uh, the wrestling of a guy like Kamaru Usman. We haven't seen him deal with the wrestling of a guy like Colby Covington. We haven't seen him deal with the jiu-jitsu of a guy like Gilbert Burns. I have major question marks here, and I, I think this could be a spot where Kiesa comes out here and could potentially expose deficiency in Luque's game. And then inversely, if Luque keeps this fight standing, I think he probably puts a beating on Michael Kiesa. And I think that's as simple as the fight breaks down to. And Al, dude, I don't know. I do not know. And this fight has me essentially baffled, but I really do feel like that's as simple as this fight breaks down to. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find inklings or clues on how this fight plays out. Dude, this this is a pass for me as it stands right now. I I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. That's what I got. I wish I could give the people a better feeling, but this one has me scratching my head, man. And I really don't know if I'm being honest. And uh, I don't blame you. It's just, uh, you know, I've said it before a hundred times. Uh, I'd like to just uh, keep it rolling. I've, I've famously won a giant bet on Vicente Luque inside the distance. Uh, and I, I, it's one of those things where I'm just playing with house money now going forward.